Hello everyone, my name's Michael Sherry and I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. We're an RV dealer that sells RVs nationwide. So if you're in the market for an RV, by all means, pause this video, learn a little bit more about us and do that how everyone does it. Go to Google, type in Paul Sherry RVs. There you'll see our ratings off to the right there. Uh, probably the highest rated and most rated RV dealer out there in the industry. Um, we're excited about that. But also check out our website. There you'll find uh, the top brands in the RV industry for sale at generally the very best price in the United States. All right. Uh, the purpose of this video today is to show you this really cool 2020 bullet behind me. So the Keystone Bullet, since its inception, the one word that describes it is just innovative. They're innovative on the design, on the build. Uh, they're innovative this year, particularly in the 2020 and a half with the colors. Uh, they've totally revamped the colors inside and out. They've gone away from the wood paneling, which everyone else in the RV industry just hasn't got there yet, but it's been in the homes for the last couple of years, right? Newer homes are going to more of a, a, a neutral white cabinet work uh, and we're going to see that in here and I'm excited to show that to you as well. Uh, customers absolutely love this. Um, the bullets also, as telling you, they're a little bit innovative in their design and that's been since inception. What they wanted to do, Keystone wanted to build a travel trailer that the average family could use, meaning it's big enough for them, and that the average family could tow with their with their half ton pickup truck. So they created the bullet line, which is pretty much 100% half ton towable travel trailers. Uh, this particular one here is a bunkhouse, full size bunkhouse with a super slide, weighs under 5,600 pounds, which is absolutely amazing for this size trailer. Typically we would find this trailer to be 800 to 1,000 pounds heavier than any other uh, from any other manufacturer. Comes with a power tongue jack standard on this bullet, two propane bottles and brand new battery. Also, uh, the propane bottles will come full and the brand new battery. That's compliments a Paul Sherry RVs. Not all dealers do that. In fact, a lot of dealers charge you for that. Uh, three year structure uh, warranty, three year industry's best structure warranty. Uh, I've done a video on that on YouTube, so make sure you check that out if you haven't seen that. Uh, I'm really excited about that warranty. It's been out for about three years now, so they've been very successful with it. Baggage door here. The baggage door has got the magnetic catch, which I really like. Uh, and then to the right here, we have our hookup panel. This is gonna control uh, your landing gear. Uh, which is an option on this power landing gear, power stabilizing gear. Uh, also has a battery disconnect, which I'm starting to see that more and more in trailers. Really cool idea. Uh, it's got the key TV, uh, which is where you put in either your satellite or uh, cable. And of course, it's got the free antenna up on the roof. Uh, so you can pick up the free TV. And then all your water hookups are here. Also, it comes standard with the black tank flush. Uh, your city water connection and your fresh tank fill. And then this is all in a nice watertight compartment. And it's got a little compartment here so you can route your uh, hoses up through the, the floor there. Uh, so the rest of this is all going to be your storage cargo space uh, for your outside. Uh, you can kind of tell the construction of this is all going to be aluminum uh, welded tubular construction. Uh, that's how they're able to get it so light. It's more expensive to build it that way. But that's how they're able to get it light. Also notice the pegboard there. Great spot to hook, you know, whatever. It's kind of like a little mini garage in here. Super slide that we're walking past here. All tinted windows, notice those as well. Coming back to the rear part of the trailer, we have a outside shower here with hot and cold water on about a four foot hose. I like its location, it's right by uh, this dump station here. Also, this camper is pretty well insulated underneath. As you can see, it's fully insulated. Also notice you don't see the gate valves themselves. They're actually up in that insulated compartment. We're looking at the dump valve here. Uh, for those of you not sure what I'm showing you here, but that's the dump valve and the gate valve. So you have your gray on the left and black on the right are up inside that heated compartment. So this camper can be used in a little bit cooler climates. Storage back there. Comes with a spare tire. There's our website I was mentioning. PaulSherryRVS.com. This is more of the fun side. It has a power awning. Notice the two speakers. 
up there near the awning. I love when they put them up there. The acoustics are just amazing when that happens. Two axles on this. The Bullet uh, was probably one of the first companies to really make this standard on their trailers where they got the secure stance axles. What that means is the axles are further apart than what's typical. Uh, that allows for greater stability uh, because the weight is distributed better. And uh, also it's super easy to back them up compared to when they're close. And I don't know the science behind it, but it, it's true. Uh, this is the 273BHS. Again, under 5,600 pounds. Check out the interior. I'm going to pan around, and then we will start up in the bedroom. Okay. So the bedroom is behind the entertainment system here. There's two pocket doors to go in the bedroom, so it is nice privacy. It doesn't have the curtains. I'll show you here on this one. Some nice sliding pocket doors uh, to get you into the bedroom, which is going to feature a queen bed. So you can walk around the bed either from the left or the right side, and that would be the door that you would go out. You notice there is a shelf above the bed here for extra storage. And then on both sides of the bed, you get this, which is your hanging closet. Uh, it's a mirror wardrobe. And then there's actually a little drawer down here, which a lot of companies don't do that. I like that little compartment. And then this is special here. It's Keystone's done this for a long time. It's got access there to the outside compartment I was just showing you. Uh, what's, what most customers do is they put their laundry basket under there. You can just put your dirty laundry down through there. So I like that part. My laundry ends up starts smelling. Uh, we have a little nook back here. So notice it's uh, kind of like a nightstand, but it also has power. There's both the USB and normal electricity back there. So that's on both sides of the bed. Also comfortable mattress on these that comes standard from the factory. So that's something a lot of customers, the first thing they do is throw away the mattress because they're so cheap. Uh, but this mattress feels pretty good. Uh, so in the slide out room is what we're looking at now. We have a trifold sleeper sofa. It's kind of come out for very comfortable sleeping. Uh, and then next to that, there is a uh, dinette table that also comes down for extra sleeping uh, just by pushing the table down and the, putting the, the uh, cushions across there. Uh, some nice windows in here and really nice window treatments. All LED lighting in this entire trailer. And then uh, next to the slides, this is going to be the rear uh, corner of the trailer. We have two bunk beds. Uh, they are double bunk beds, so double over double bunk beds. Uh, there is a ladder there, as you can see, to get up onto the top bunk bed, which has this nice mattress, really comfortable little nook back there with power uh, on both bunks. Uh, there is a window on both bunks. A lot of companies just use a window in one. Uh, and there is a blackout uh, shade on both as well. So that's nice. And then the kitchen's across from uh, the slide out room. Uh, so in the kitchen, this is really where a lot of the things start coming together where it's just that modern look, right? So we have the painted cabinetry. Uh, we have a stainless steel microwave and refrigerator. And then the really cool subway tile feel back there in the backsplash. And then a lot of countertop space. Uh, they went to a seamless countertop, which I'm glad they did. Uh, so what you don't get is that seam here on the edge. Uh, that water likes to get in and cause your countertop to swell up. It's got the big single basin stainless steel sink. And then a lot of storage down through here. We've got several drawers. Uh, the oven is going to be a gas oven, uh, three burner top range here. And then there's your gas right there. Uh, the refrigerator part is right here. So this is going to be uh, both your ref freezer and refrigerator down here. This is an RV refrigerator. So this is going to cool uh, even when you're going down the road by using propane, which a lot of people like. Um, then next to here, we have our pantry, uh, which can be actually doubled as a uh, hanging closet here too. So depending on what you want to use for it, that black thing there, that's your sink cover. So it does have that. And then a lot of pantry space over here for your box goods. All right, check out the bathroom through this door here. Uh, there is a little more of a towel hanger, but I got my coat there today. Uh, and then uh, all in one bathroom. So it's got the surround here for the shower. Uh, a lot of spots to put your soaps and stuff there in the corner. Uh, and it is a tub. So you can uh, wash the small kids in there and stool here and then over here we have our hot and cold water sink and then the medicine cabinet that is mirrored okay uh check out here the 
entertainment system. So it has uh, some glass inserts on the top there. Really looks nice. Just extra storage behind there. Comes with a 32 inch flat screen television uh, and also this radio that's a DVD AM FM uh, radio as well as Bluetooth. Uh, the Keystone products are really known to do this little area down here, just a spot to kick off your shoes and stow them away. Uh, you notice the entire floor of this camper, other than the slide out room, is going to be linoleum, so it's easy to keep clean. You know, that's the last thing I want to do when I'm camping is cleaning. So, all right, that completes this walkthrough of this Keystone Bolt. So, I'll post links below that has our current pricing uh, and current availability as well. Uh, and also, uh, there's a link down below that I'll post about financing if you have questions about that. And also a link below about trade-ins. So if you're looking to trade up or down or sideways or whatever way, uh, we can help you out with that. So make sure you check that out. Thanks for watching. Everyone have a great rest of your day.